Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, the Civil Classroom. Today we are going to solve a numerical on the topic rise and fall method. So whenever we start doing labeling, so there are two methods to calculate the reduced level. They are the rise and fall method and the height of the instrument or the collimation method. So in this video, we are going to solve a numerical of rise and fall method. So. Uh, in this rise in this rise and fall method generally uh, while taking while doing the leveling on the field we keep the instrument here such as this is your auto level and the staff readings are taken from here so the first staff reading taken from here is basically the back side then we calculate the intermediate sides so we take side and when we change this auto level that will be the changing point and from that this the last Last reading from here will be the four side and these are the intermediate side the last reading will be four side and when we change this auto level the first reading will be here this will be back side and then again in intermediate side or the last will be the fourth side. these are the process we use to take the staff reading in the field while calculating the reduced levels now we are going to solve this numerical solution given here a uh, four meter leveling is performed continuously sloping ground at sloping ground at a common interval of 30 meters so the common interval here is 30 meters the chain is most uh, at every 30 meter uh, these are the staff reading that is taken now the elevation of b was 1120.450 meter makeup level filled book and apply the usual checks find the gradient between the first and the last point so here rl elevation of b is given so the given rl of b is equal to 1120.450 so now we will draw a rough sketch uh, of the field while taking the readings here the first reading is on a that is 0.585 so later if this is a instrument and this is a staff then the first reading here is 0 0.585 here the first reading is uh, 0 0.585 which will be the back side on a this is a then these four are the intermediate readings because reading here is after the instrument is changed since the leveling staff is of four meters so it, it can only take the reading up to four meter after uh, this point we must have to change this so that we can take the readings otherwise we will not take the reading from this point only so now these are the intermediate point this is 0 0.936 0 0.936 this is a sloping ground this is one then 1 1.953 1.953 2.846 2.846 3.644 3.644 3.938 3.938 this must be the this must be the foresight for this instrument the last reading here now here the instrument is changed so the instrument will be now here this is cp1 now this will be the back side for this instrument that is 0 0.962 here 0 0.962 again these are the intermediate sides up to here this the reading is the maximum reading is taken is 3.844 now again the instrument must be changed here so they are uh, 0 0.962 1 2 3 4 four readings are taken from here 1 2 3 and 4 uh, at the changing point there are the uh, back and forth side so this is 0 0.96 the intermediate reading are 1.035 1.689 2.534 and 3.844 this is the last reading from this instrument at this point so again the uh, instrument is changed here this is cp1 uh, 5 6 7 8 and 9 the instrument is now here this will be the changing point too so the first backside reading here is 0 0.956 this is 0 0.956 
and the intermediate reading here is 1.579 and this is the last reading that is 3.016 on B. 3.016 so this is 10 and this is B point. Now we will draw a label field row for the further calculation and it always start with the back side. So here this is a table for the label field book. Here the stations are stations are A, then up to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the last station here is B. Then the chain is So chain is start there the chain is of 30 meter interval so 0 30 60 90 120 150 180 210 240 270 300 and 330 these are the chains then we will take the side then the intermediate sides and then the four side then there will be rise and fall then the next box is for the reduced levels and this is for remarks here the first backside reading is 0 0.585 at station a then these are the intermediate sides up to uh, up to four stations so 0 0.585 then these are the intermediate side that is 0 0.936 1.953, and then this is a uh, four side. 3.938 here is the four side. Now there, this is changing point first. So for the changing point first, after changing the auto level, the first backside reading here is 0 0.962. 0.962 we we have two readings at station 5 one is four side before changing the auto level here and one is back side after the changing the auto level here now again there are three intermediate side that is 1.035 1.689 and 2.534 then again the last reading four side is 3.844 and the back side is here 0.956 so this is changing point two. Now there is one intermediate reading at station ten that is one point five seven nine, and the last reading here is three point zero one six, which is in, which is the four side. Here for the rise and fall method, we have back side minus four side, back side minus intermediate, uh, back side minus four side, or intermediate side minus intermediate side, and intermediate side minus four side or back side minus intermediate side these are the formulas while calculating the rise and fall and also this positive and negative sign these are used while calculating the rl if uh, we are going downward then we will take positive for rise and negative for fall we, uh, if we are going from the bottom rl level to the upward side then we will take positive for fall and negative for positive for fall and negative for rise so rl will be keep increasing by adding fall adding fall and uh, decreasing by rise so now we will also solve another numerical in another video so here uh, now we will calculate the rise and fall so since we have this formula we can calculate back side minus four side intermediate side minus intermediate side intermediate side minus four side and also back side minus intermediate side so here 0 0.585 minus intermediate so 0 0.585 minus 0 0.936 will be this is negative so that will be fall so if positive uh, if there is positive then there will be a rise if there is negative then there will be fall so here so since this is negative this is a fall that will be 0 0.351 now now here is an intermediate side so we will subtract intermediate side minus intermediate side that, that is 0 0.936 minus 1.953 so again there is a negative sign so there is a fall 1.017 again there is an intermediate side minus intermediate side so uh, 1.953 minus 2.846 that is 0 0.893 Now 2.846 minus 3.644. That is fall 0.798. Now what we have is 
इंटरमीडिएट साइट माइनस फोर साइट वी कैन कैलकुलेट इंटरमीडिएट साइट माइनस फोर साइट दैट इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स फोर फोर माइनस थ्री पॉइंट नाइन थ्री एट दैट इज अगेन द फॉल जीरो पॉइंट टू नाइन फोर सिंस दिस इज स्लोपिंग ग्राउंड ऑल्सो देयर इज फॉल वी कैन गेट ऑल्सो फ्रॉम हेयर दैट दिस मस्ट बी फॉल सो नाउ ऑल्सो अगेन we have back side minus intermediate side so this will be this is go like intermediate side minus intermediate side intermediate side minus intermediate side then intermediate side minus four side then back side minus four side and uh, intermediate side minus four side so here um, 0.96962 minus 1.035 that is 0.073 1.035 minus 1.689 which is So now we have calculated the fall. Now we will calculate the reduced level. So the first, uh, the given reduced level is at B, at this point, which is one one two zero point four five zero. So now we will calculate the reduced level of all these stations with the help of the fall and the given uh, RL at B. So since we are going from downward to upward, so uh, we will add all these falls since it must be. Uh, Increasing since the slope is going like this, the stations must be at increased height. So we will add uh, all these falls. So this will be now one one two zero point four five plus one point four three seven. We will add this fall to get the RL at ten. That will be one one two one point eight eight seven. We'll add the RL of this uh, RL and fall of the stations at ten to get the, the reduced level at station nine. So we are going like this: one one uh, plus zero point six two three. That is one one two two point five one plus one point three one. That is one one two three point eight two plus zero point eight four five plus zero point eight four five will be one one two four point six six five plus zero point six five four. That will be one one two five point three one nine plus zero point zero point zero seven three. That is one one two five point three nine two. Plus zero point two nine four one one two five point six eight six. We are adding these consecutive falls to get the upper reduced level. Plus zero point seven nine seven nine eight one one two six point four eight four plus zero point eight nine three one one two seven point three seven seven plus one point zero one seven. That will be one one two eight point three nine. And for a and for us zero point three five one, that will give the reduced level of station A, which is one one two eight point seven four five. So now we have done all the calculations here. We will uh, check the accuracy of the RL calculations whether the calculation we have done here is correct or not. So for that we will have to do arithmetic check. So here arithmetic check. get three checks uh, at arithmetic checks the summation of back side minus summation of a four side should be equal to summation of rise minus summation of fall we should be equal to summation of last rl minus summation of first rl if all of these are equal then the calculation is correct whether why there must be any fault here so now So, mention of backside that is zero point five eight five plus zero point nine six two plus zero point nine five six, which is equal to two point five five zero three. The summation of four side is three point nine three eight plus three point eight four four plus three point zero one six, which is equal to ten point seven nine eight. Now, then summation of rise. Summation of rise is here zero. And summation of fall is three five one plus one point zero one seven plus zero point eight nine three zero point seven nine eight zero point two nine four plus 
ratio of elevation difference by the horizontal distance so the elevation difference here is 8.295 8.295 by uh, the horizontal distance the horizontal distance here is total 330 330 which is equal to we have gradient is equal to vertical difference by horizontal distance this is the vertical distance one is two 40. So the gradient here is 1 in 40 fall. This is all for today numerical. We will solve another numerical in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel.